There's one. Oh, God. Nice big fish, too. Come on. Holy cow. Well, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today is pretty interesting. I am in the thick of it here, you can tell. Um, and I'm chasing after some late summer steelhead um, on a really small little creek. Um, the problem today is the water's really low, really clear, um, and it's going to be hard to uh, kind of sneak up on these fish and not spook them. So I'm going to hike way back in here and see if I can find some deeper holes that some of these fish might maybe be held up in um, and maybe feel a little more comfortable and see if I can't get one to bite. So come along with me and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, guys, so what I'm using is one of these uh, kind of small, I believe that's a 10 gram, let's see, 8 gram blood run float. Um, oh, there goes a couple fish moving up right there. I'm not sure if you can see it or not. There he goes. Um, I just a couple split shots to uh, just a jig, just a plain whatever jig, and I'm tipping it with a little wax worm. And what I'm doing is I've hiked way back up in here. You can see this is maybe 15 feet across, really small little stream. Um, and I'm fishing these spots like maybe underneath that log right there. That you could see that uh, it just these fish just want a little bit of cover and uh, they hide underneath just where you kind of can't see them and uh, I've had a couple bites doing this but you know it's the middle of the day right now it's like three o'clock in the afternoon it's kind of hot today um, and uh, these fish are just not very active they're here see I just spooked one out right there but uh, and you can see if you hook one in something like this, uh, you're gonna have some problems getting them out of those logs. So, but that's what makes this kind of fun. And... All right, here's another really good example of a spot that has a few fish in it, but you can see it's, you could almost jump across it right here, but right at the base of that tree, it's maybe five to six foot deep. And these fish like that little bit of cover and uh, a little bit of shade and uh, you just have to hit seems like you have to hit them at the right they got to be in the right mood to to bite but you can see how slow that this creek is moving right now we real we got some rain the other day but it just wasn't enough to to really do anything there's one oh god Uh, nice big fish too. Come on. Holy cow. Oh, he smoked that. I just switched over to the addicted sink it jig. And my first drift he hit it. Wow, that's a nice one too. Big steelhead. Not sure where I'm gonna land in that. Oh! Come on, stay hooked. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. I'm gonna try to beach him. Ah. He is not wanting that. Come here. Got it. Yes. Oh. All right, guys, let me show you this fish really quick. I'm super stoked. This is actually my first um, summer run steelhead I've ever caught out of the river. It's actually a big one, too. Probably uh, six pounds, maybe seven pounds, really long. And uh, the reason I'm keeping this fish is I guess these Skimania or summer run steelhead have a really hard time uh, kind of getting revived after being caught, especially after making the run way up river. So it's best to just keep them and uh, make a good meal out of them. I'm sure it'll be delicious. So uh, that was really cool. I hiked way in, 
and I've been fishing a lot of little really tight holes um, that are full of trees and full and I'm seeing a few fish but um, if you hooked one in some of these really tight spots you're just never gonna land it so uh, I went back up to one of the main big holes that I saw some fish in and uh, made a few drifts through it didn't get any bites switched over to that addicted sink it jig which I've done really well on in the winter time with a fresh wax worm and bam first drift through bobber down and uh, the fight was on so that being said I'm gonna fish a little bit more I think but my day's already made getting one of these things and uh, like always guys thanks for watching